Jesus, our blessed Redeemer, for our sins he suffered and bled and died. He, our rock, our hope of eternal salvation, hail him, hail him, Jesus, the crucified. Sound his praises, Jesus who bore our sorrows, love unbounded, wonderful, deep, and so strong. Praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. Welcome to Jesus for All. I welcome you in the name of Yeshua, Emmanuel, and Messiah, Jesus Christ. Our hope of glory, our Amen, our Redeemer, Savior of the world, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And I welcome you, Holy Spirit, into our midst. Come and have your way, Holy Spirit. Today, we will be reading Ruth chapter 3. Ruth and Boaz at the treaching floor. Please share, like, and subscribe. If you are new here for the first time, you are welcome in the name of Yeshua. We ask that you share the video out as a form of evangelism so that others come to know about the God, the Most High Almighty God, Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Alpha and Omega, and the Holy Spirit who is the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Truth, that after a one-to-one -one encounter with Christ, he leaves us with the Holy Spirit that directs us and is with us. We start our reading today from Ruth chapter 3. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, should I not seek rest for you? that it may be well with you. Is not Boaz a relative with whose young woman you were? See, he is winnowing barley tonight at the threshing floor. Wash therefore and anoint yourself and put on your cloak and go down to the threshing floor, but do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. Then when he lies down, observe the place where he lies. Then go and uncover his feet and lie down. And he will tell you what to do. And she replied, all that you say I will do. Verse 6. So she went down to the threshing floor and did just as her mother-in-law had commanded her. And when Boaz had eaten and drunk, and his heart was merry. He went to lie down at the end of the heap of grain. Then he came softly and uncovered his feet and lay down. At midnight the man was startled and turned over, and behold, a woman lay at his feet. He said, Who are you? And she answered, I am Ruth, your servant. Spread your wings over your servant for you are a redeemer and he said may you be blessed by the lord my daughter you have made this last kindness greater than the first in that you have not gone after young men whether poor or rich and now my daughter do not fear i will do for you all that you ask for all my fellow townsmen know that you are a worthy woman and now it is true that I am a redeemer, yet there is a redeemer 
nearer than I. Remain tonight and in the morning. If he will redeem you, good, let him do it. But if he is not willing to redeem you, then as the Lord lives, I will redeem you. Lie down until the morning. Verse 14. So she lay at his feet until the morning, but arose before one could recognize another, and he said, Let it not be known that the woman came to the threshing floor. And he said, Bring the garment you are wearing and hold it out. So she held it, she, so she held it and the measure of six measures of barley and put it on her. Then she went into the city, and when she came to her mother-in-law, she said, How did you fare, my daughter? Then she told her all that the man had done for her, saying, These six measures of barley he gave to me, for he said to me, You must not go back empty-handed to your mother-in-law, she said. Wait, my daughter, until you learn how the matter turns out, for the man will not rest, but will settle the matter today. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I would like you to put your opinions about what we've read, what the Holy Spirit has revealed to you, if any, and have a cause. We have a cause to... Um, for me, we have a a, a cause, we have a, a, an obligation, we have an appreciation of what Christ has done for us because Christ, for us who are believers in him, is our Redeemer. And we don't have to go into this ploy as um, Naomi uh, is, is planning for Ruth in order to be redeemed by a Redeemer. But I would like to hear your own opinion on just this uh, chapter 3 we've read, not or what we've read up to now. God bless you and remain blessed.